this is a very small collection. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is the 5th day of Vlogmas and the 5th of December would have been Walt Disney's birthday. So Walt Disney was born on the 5th of December 1901, which means that next year would have been his 120th birthday. Obviously he would not have still been alive, but he did leave this earth far too soon at the age of 65. As you guys know, I do love Walt and I am filming a standing up video, which I don't think I've ever done, so that I can show you my Walt wall. So behind me here is pictures of Walt and my Walt pin board, which I will be showing you in Vlogmas at some point. And on the top of this display cabinet is what I'm going to be showing you today. So this is a very small collection. I only have four Walt statues, but I still wanted to show them all to you in as much detail as I possibly could. So I'm going to start with the one in the glass cabinet because it's the most delicate. But before I show you my Walt Disney statue collection, I need to open the advent calendar as it is the 5th day of December. So I am absolutely terrible at guessing these. We had Pumpkin Jack, Zero, The Mare, who I guessed would be Sally, and yesterday we got Oogie Boogie, who I guessed would be Dr Finkelstein. So I'm going to guess Sally again, even though it's not going to be Sally. Let's find out what it is. We've got another teal baggie. They alternate between teal and white baggies, which I really like because teal is one of my favourite colours. I actually think it is Sally. It's Sally! Five days in and I finally got one right. So this is a lovely little Sally. She's got her dress on and she's holding the basket which she like propels down Finkelstein's house. It was presents for Jack, if I remember rightly. I last watched it in September, so I really need to watch it again. But I'm really, really happy I finally got a Sally. I'm just gonna put it back in my office and then I will show you my statues. So you may notice that I'm not wearing a Christmas jumper or a Christmas t-shirt today. I am wearing a t-shirt that I got from Disneyland. Back in 2018, I believe, it has Walt holding Mickey as the partner statue and it says to all who come to this happy place, welcome. Disneyland is your land. It is a little bit too see-through for my liking, which is why there is a white vest top underneath. But it's a really comfortable t-shirt and I wear it around the house all the time. So like I said, I've got a very small collection. I've just got four and I'm going to start with the most delicate, which is in the glass cabinet. So I can't remember whether I got this in 2017 or 2019 but I'm just going to guess 2019 when we went for my 25th birthday. It's very delicate as you can see and it did survive the house move because we luckily kept the box which came with moulded polystyrene to make sure that every nook and cranny was safe. So this is it. <laughs> you can kind of see my sum sums in the mirror but essentially Mickey is the one that is drawing Walt. So he's drawing Walt here. He's got a mirror for some absolutely unknown reason and then he's actually got other sketches of Walt along the side. Other things to note, there is a little Mickey here, kind of like an Oscar but not really. And then the hat on the top says Walt and I just think it's absolutely stunning. I think I've seen it on Shop Disney UK for sale so if it's still there I'm going to leave a link in my description so that you can buy it if you want it. But I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. They chose such a gorgeous picture of Walt to recreate as well which I think is lovely. I'm just going to show you a close-up of it and then I will put it back in the cabinet. It's times like this that I wish I had one of those like revolving stands so I could just like film it going around like this but I don't. So there is my shoddy cameraman ship and I'm just going to quickly put it back. Next I'm going to show you my two partner statues which are up there. 
So this one is really, really special to me. It was my 21st birthday present from my parents. We got it from Disneyland Paris, but I know that they sell them in parks all over the world. It is the partner statue on a plate of marble, and then this is pure bronze. So we lost the box. And when the time came to move, we didn't know how to transport it to the new house. So my mum wrapped it up in bubble wrap, put it in a box and put it in the boot of her car so that we knew it was safe the second we got to the new house. Obviously, I shouldn't have been so worried because this isn't even half as delicate as the one I just showed you. It is pure bronze, so it would be quite hard to break. But I just absolutely adore it. I will always remember that it was my 21st birthday gift. I can't remember how much the other one cost, but I think this one cost about 150 euros because of the sheer size and the material. You can get different ones made of different materials and of different price points, but this was my favourite one. I think it carried the likeness most of Walt, which is why I chose it, and I'm so grateful to my parents for getting it for me. In our old house, it was on the fireplace in the living room, but when we moved here and we saw that my room would have room for a glass cabinet, my mum said that I should have this in my room as it is mine, and I'm so happy. As you can see, there are other other things in my glass cabinet which I will be showing you at some point next year because I realise you haven't seen most of my Disney traditions but I just thought on what would have been Walt's birthday we should really celebrate the man who created this great company. I would not be a Disney YouTuber if Walt Disney hadn't existed. So I'm going to give you a close-up of him and then I will put him back. Well, I realised how dusty he was while I was filming that, so apologies. <laughs> I'm filming this in November because I know that my Christmas tree is going to go here and obscure everything. So next week you will see me decorating my room and that would mean that I wouldn't be able to stand here and open this cabinet so easily. So I'm going to put him back and then I'm going to get my Christmas decoration. So this is the Christmas decoration version. I got this from Disneyland in 2019 in our September trip, but it is available this year on Shop Disney UK, so I'm going to leave a link in the description because I think everybody should own this Christmas decoration. So it's just a smaller version of my bronze statue. I think it's made out of plastic, I'm not 100% sure, and it just has this brown hanger. I don't think I'll put it on my tree, it really depends how my tree looks because I much prefer it up there with my Walt Disney World plaque from Jodie and Laura and my silver plaque which was made by Starlight by Ali. And obviously behind my statue is the Walt Disney Family Museum Mickey and Minnie plushes. So this is my Christmas decoration and I highly recommend you all get one. And then the final item only arrived yesterday. The thinking behind this video was that today's video was going to be an unboxing of this particular statue and then when it arrived I looked at it and I went I can't take it out of the box, it's too nice to take out of the box, it looks really good in the box. So instead of doing like a first look I thought I'd show you my collection with a first look. I actually did a little cry when this arrived. So this is the Wonderground Partners statue. It was designed by Dave Perillo at the Wonderground Gallery. It's a seven inch vinyl figure of Walt and Mickey as the partner statue. It's even got like the podium that the partner statue sits on. I was worried I wouldn't be able to get this. It was a reservation only at Downtown Disney in California. My friend Luke works in the week and it was a weekday reservation and he put me in touch with a pickup account who also couldn't go in the week. So I looked on eBay. I think I've paid a little bit over double what it's worth to get it, but honestly it makes me so happy. I don't mind. I am quite concerned that the Walt Funko Pop will also be a reservation so I'm saving up my pennies just in case I need to pay an eBay price. I'm hoping by the time this video goes up that it's already come out and I've already secured it but who knows at this point. But the reason I'm not taking it out of the box is because I think the box is really stunning. Like it's actually been done like it's a piece of merchandise from the 60s. I mean look at this it's absolutely amazing. It says Disneyland since 1955 and on the back you've got a picture of the statue. Sorry about the glare but if you look behind Walt and Mickey you've actually got the castle behind him. That bit looks a bit like Disneyland Paris but the rest of it looks like Disneyland. But I just absolutely love it. It says 
partners in quotation marks and then you've got a very vintage looking Mickey and a Walt who is starting to go grey because his hair is like black at the top and then on the sides it's differing shades of blue instead of grey which I really like. I really like the style of this and he's in a black suit with a blue shirt and blue tie. So I really can't bring myself to take this out of the box, at least not yet. But I wanted to show it to you guys and I need help deciding where it's going to go actually. <laughs> Um, I'm going to have a think after this video about where it's going to live. I might need to have a little move around, but I'm just so happy that I finally have this. I am going to show you a close-up and then end the video. So after I film this I'm going to try and find a place for him and if I do I will put in a clip of where I've decided to put him. But that was my very small Walt Disney statue collection. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did please give it a big thumbs up and let me know down in the comments your favourite Walt quote. My personal favourite Walt quote is The more you like yourself, the less you are like anyone else and that makes you unique. Which is basically saying, just be yourself, love yourself, be the best version of yourself that you can be, live your truth and that makes you unique because most people care far too much about what other people think. If Walt Disney cared what people thought about him, he probably wouldn't have been the success he was because people said that Snow White wouldn't work, no one would sit through a feature length animation. They said that Disneyland was a flop. Why would you want to go to a park that didn't serve alcohol? All these things, they were always so critical of him and so negative and look what he's achieved. So on this day we need to say happy birthday to the man who created everything we know and love. I will also be doing a Walt Disney video on the 15th of this month which is unfortunately the date of his passing. I will be showing you guys my Walt Disney pin collection which is bigger than this collection. So if you are interested in my content please hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so that you're always notified when there's a new video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you real soon. Bye guys!